Alright, um, I'm here with uh, Kaz, he's played 199 games for Tarawindji and this weekend if he doesn't do a uh, Frankie, he'll play his 200th, 200 senior games. Uh, Kaz, you've played in two senior premierships and you've been at the club for 11 years, so it's taken you 11 years. Um, you wear the number two, um, you've only worn it for as long as I can remember, but you didn't start off in number two, what number did you start off in? I started off in 15. Yeah. Big ball one of it, so he's got it now. And uh, so Rory's, your brother played a lot of footy with your brother Rory, number three. He started off number, do you remember what number he started off in? 18. 18. So if you've been a couple of changes, um, you've been the senior captain for three years now. You've been on the committee um, in a number of different roles um, and you've volunteered a huge amount of time with uh, things like marking the lines, um, helping with the new club rooms and recently the new netball courts and change rooms. Um, you've, uh, free, in terms of your footy, you've made it really hard for a lot of forwards from other clubs. You've been a pretty tough but uh, fair player, I'd say. Um, who's been the toughest player you've played against? Um. I suppose when I was younger, it was probably Lionel Sharp, so he taught me a few things, it was good. A few, uh, a few tricky moves, a few dirty moves, or anything oh, like that? that or? Pretty good. Beautiful. Um, what about the most skilled player at Tara that you've played with? Who would that be? Skilled? Um, well, there's been a fair few. Good, Sharpie. Um, yeah, there's been a fair few along the way. Beautiful. Now, um, in terms of uh, playing football, your best. What's your best footballing moment? Best football One that moment. sort of stands out. Uh, I don't know. Both grand finals, I suppose. Beautiful. Now, what about uh, you? You played. You played. Um, obviously, two thousand and eight was your first premiership. You played in that, um, and the second one with your brother Rory. Um, was that that a highlight playing with your brother? Yeah, no, that was good. Um, and all my mates as well. So. And your mates, yeah, that's true. And now, cousins, there's. Cousins oh, you've got cousins, true. Um, you've obviously two senior premierships, but the one I think the, the moment that um, I can remember is you've got a photo of uh, you and Rory after the 2008, um, and you both got your hands in the air, um, pretty excited afterwards. Um, do you remember if that was the down the forward line or the back line? Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think it might have been up, sort of, sort of on the forward line, I might have been. Yeah, okay. So, the four, you're obviously in, in the forward line then. Uh, what were you doing in the forward line? I don't know what you're, I was doing. Mate. You were playing in the back line and you've uh, finished in the forward line there, but... We were well up at that stage, Just went for a bit of a run. Mm. Um, now, you did play, obviously, that successful period at 2008, um, 9 and 10. Uh, and there was a bit of a game going around at the time with a few players called Bottles. Can you explain how Bottles used to work? That wasn't really when we were successful, it was probably before that. So, anyway, we won't talk about that, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, right, we'll no, it was what? nothing. All it was was when we were getting flopped by sides years and years ago, we had our own little game, like if you had a bounce, or because Rory and Clarkie were up forward and it was me and Ducky and Matty Gorman down the back and Howie and um, Rory and Clarkie were kicking goals so they got points for the bottles when they were getting goals so we had to go for a run and take a bounce to try and catch up with the points so, and, and, and the bottles were the, for the trip home so it was a good little game and we were getting flogged by about 100 points and uh, is, it, is it true that uh, you once took about three bounces <laughs> in about 10 metres? No, not at all Not true, not true all right, we'll move on to um, something that's, that's uh, been probably caused you a bit of pain over the years, but it's been probably um, a, bit, uh, a bit funny for others to watch, is you, your popping of your shoulder. You've popped your shoulder out more times than anyone I've ever seen anywhere. Um, I just want you to, to answer these few questions about your shoulder. Is it true that you've popped your shoulder out when you've been in a marking contest before? Is it true you've popped your shoulder out when you've been getting tackled before? Yeah, exactly. 
Is it true you pop your shoulder out when you've tackled others before? Yeah. Uh, now, there's one time I can remember watching, uh, you actually popped your shoulder out in a contest and you were trying to put it back in half run to the bench and um, you actually uh, tackled, sorry, you actually shepherded someone, so you had one shot, one bad shoulder, and you had a good shoulder that were able to manage to lay a shepherd on. Um, is that something that just came naturally, or what were you thinking when you were doing that? Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, we'll pop it back in. <laughs> um, and the last one is have you actually popped your, your shoulder out while you've been sleeping in bed before? Is that true? Yeah. Alright, so do you, can you remember how many times you reckon you popped it over years? Or? Nah, too many, too many to count. Um, what about your your future sniffs? Have you ever thought about coaching or um, doing anything like that after you finish playing? Ah, uh, yeah, not coaching, not coaching. Being involved in a tower, I'd say. Maybe taking over the role as uh, the president. Maybe one day taking over Toddy. Uh, Toddy said he's got a few years in him yet, so he's <laughs> right. All right, beautiful. Well, thanks, mate. Uh, all the best for your 200th, and uh, it's been great catching up for a beer. Cheers. Beautiful. Thanks, mate. Hey, Cesar, it's Rory, your uh, younger brother from the West, mate. Uh, firstly, congratulations on reaching your 200th game. Absolutely fantastic achievement and uh, well-deserved. Uh, you really epitomise what it is to be a great clubman. You're the current captain, the first at working bees, and generally the last to leave uh, when there's a few beers to be had. Also, uh, your ability to play through injury over the journey has been super impressive. Uh, we all remember when Prue Keith basically cut off your arm and reattached that a number of years ago. And the amount of rapid gel, the horse type that you use on a weekly basis is significant. So I'm sure the boys will get you across the line on the weekend and uh, you'll celebrate with a few beers. And I uh, look forward to having a couple of beers with you when I uh, get home next. Go doggies!